All right, I uh, just wanted to do one more video that pertains to the Wii U. Uh, this is actually something I thought was kind of cool. Somebody pointed out to do something. Uh, basically, take a digital game from your Wii U and kind of make a physical version of it to display on a shelf without, you know, of course, buying a brand new copy of it in the stores. Or you can take a digital game that's digital only so that you can only get it on the, the eShop and not a physical copy of it and turn it into a, like a physical version kind of that you can again display on your shelf or whatever now they're it's not the perfect idea but whatever um, so basically I actually I had to recreate this box art because it's not online there's really not any Wii U uh, box art online I guess maybe people are afraid of copyright or something but I had to recreate the spine label because it doesn't exist online, and I don't. I don't think I really matched it perfectly because I didn't have anything to go by. But I guessed on that one. But uh, this is from images of uh, the game front and back, and then I kind of put it together in GIMP. So, yeah, that's that, and just printed it out with Cover XP. But inside this box is a USB thumb drive. It's a cheap USB thumb drive that has the game installed onto it. So, and this is a PS2 box. This specific one fits in this little spot for the memory card. So I can just pop it in here like that, close it, and it fits in fine. It stays in place and blurry stuff. So let's say, I don't, I don't remember if Fail Frame, the new Fail Frame game I've heard about uh, is coming out in the U.S. or if it's not, I, I was reading a few things. But if it is, say, then it's digital only. From, that's what I heard, it was digital only. And you wanted a physical copy. And of course, the Wii U is a friggin' goddamn region locked console. Why? I don't know. Um, but you then can't play a physical version of Fatal Frame. So you could do something like this where you print the, bar, the box art out. Um, I don't know if there's any way you could possibly get it in. I don't, is it, I don't think the box art's going to be in English, but if it is, or if you can get it translated into English or something, you can have a box art. You can create the box art like I did with this, or recreate it, whatever. And then you can have it installed on like a thumb drive and put it in here and display it on your shelf if you wanted to. Or you can just take a game that's not ever going to be physical in any way, shape, or form and basically do the same exact thing. So, you know, just saw someone do it. I, had, I wanted to try it out and, uh, you know, like, of course, there's a few things that are not good for this. Like, good, that's not really what I was trying to say, but whatever. Um, so basically, of course, you need to purchase a thumb drive for each game, and uh, you know, even if you get them cheap, it's still the cost of the game on top of the cost of the thumb drive. Okay, you're going to need some kind of case, so you either have to have something left over, or you're going to have to purchase cases. And I'm dropping stuff. On top of that, you're going to need to use lots of ink to print out the covers or you're going to have to go somewhere to have the cover printed out or something somehow has to be done to get the cover printed out and that's going to probably cost you some money. Um, and paper of course, there's paper. So you know it actually is kind of expensive but if you do enjoy things like I personally enjoy making cases like printing them out and uh, doing things like this so for me it's it's something I enjoy doing whereas if it's you know if if you don't then it, you know I wouldn't really say you should but yeah there are costs in, involved and extra costs and unless it's something you really enjoy doing I don't know that I should tell you to do it but it, you know I just thought it was cool I think I had to try it out and uh I think it would be best probably with those digital games that don't have covers or, you know, they're not physical copies, so you could probably turn them into physical copies. Another, oh, I forgot to mention another important thing. 
You can't just take a USB thumb drive out of the Wii U while it's on and it's best to put the thumb drive in while it's off so you put the thumb drive in first power up the console and then when you want to change it you can turn you know you can take the thing out when it's off or you could kind of have another thumb drive and you can put the second thumb drive in with the other game and once it loads up you can actually take the other thumb drive out then it'll reboot the console it's a pain in the ass but yeah it's a little complicated, but, you know, somebody came up with that online and, you know, thought it was cool, even though it's kind of a pain in the ass and expensive. Anyways, thank you for watching.